So in this video, uh, what we are going to see is how to create a basic thing in the AWS IoT cloud. So the first step is uh, signing in to your uh, AWS console. So let's do that. Right. So this is your main console and you can see all the different services which are offered by AWS. We are interested in this particular service right now. So we click on AWS IoT and it will lead us to a dashboard where I can see all the uh, things that I have created. So basically I have 10 things, 3 rules, 12 certificates and 7 policies. So let's take a look at the number of things that I have. So each thing is associated with a particular hardware. Uh, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to create a thing. I am going to name it test123 and these attributes are values that uh, are associated with the thing. So for example, if this thing is going to be located uh, in the field, I am going to put it as latitude123 and Twenty-two, something like that and the next thing that I'm going to say is create so these values uh, yeah so these values are uh, things that uh, don't change that often uh, the values that uh, the data that comes from the AWS IoT device the actual hardware uh, those we'll see in, in a short while so when you click on that thing here uh, you see its MQTT topic its rest endpoint, its name, and uh, its attribute. The next thing that we are going to do is we are going to connect a device to it and we are going to pick embedded C. Once you pick one of these, it will ask you to generate a certificate and policy which will create three files. Uh, we don't need the public key, we need the private key and the certificate uh, which will be used while communicating from the actual hardware to the AWS IoT Cloud. So I'm going to download these two and I'm going to say confirm and start connecting. So return to thing detail and the next uh, video what we're going to do is we are going to use the MW302 platform and use the key and certificate that we just created to control uh, to connect to this uh, thing that we just created in the AWS article.